Hi, my name is Father John Dolan, and I'm the pastor here at St. Michael's Parish. You know, I'm so very impressed by what I have seen so far here at St. Michael's, particularly in the areas of corporal works of mercy. You know, Jesus said in Matthew 25, when I was hungry, you gave me food. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was naked, you clothed me. These corporal works of mercy are seen here at St. Michael's. People give of their heart they give of their time, their talent, their treasure to make sure that our neighbors in need are always being cared for. What we do to reach out to people, not only here but abroad, is inspiring. It says an awful lot about our parish community. The gospel is truly alive here. My name is Bridget Bayes, and I'm the director of the Corporal Works of Mercy here at St. Michael's. What an amazing parish we have. We have so many parishioners here who care about the community, not only here in Poway and San Diego, but all around the world. Hi, I'm Tom Kenny. I'm coordinator of St. Michael's Food Group. I've been working with the group here for a little over 20 years. We uh, pick up food from 20 different locations every day. We pick up about 500,000 pounds of food a year and probably serve pretty close to 800 needy families every week. But right here in Poway, there's a lot of people. People have lost their jobs, they, they've run out of their savings, uh, whatever it might be. There's need here on Saturday morning when we deliver food or distribute food here at St. Michael. You see a lot of people that really need the help. It's really a warm, warm feeling in my heart when I see these people getting some food, and knowing that We've got pretty close to 50 people here at St. Michael's that are contributing all their time to make this available to them. We have been supported only by the St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store. Hi, I'm Kelly Rupert. I'm the manager here at St. Michael's Thrift Shop. When you make a purchase here, all the proceeds have gone to support our food program and the needy in our local community. We have built the shed for the food program. We have bought the two vehicles that the food program uses. We maintain those vehicles and we put the gas in the vehicles that they use. I think the probably the biggest satisfaction is knowing that you're helping somebody that really needs help. Hi, my name is Dennis Bamman. I'm with the Ministry of the Legion of Mary here at St. Michael's Church. What the Legion of Mary is, is a ministry that uh, goes out to people that we have in our community who are homebound or are infirmed. Some are incarcerated and we pray with them and we do the rosary and give them encouragement and bring their faith back into their lives to give them hope. Since I've been a member of the Legion of Mary, I've visited with many people who have shared with me um, the appreciation of us coming to them when they are so um, isolated. Uh, some of them are bedridden, some of them are incarcerated. These are people who reach out to you in a way that touches your heart. They are extremely grateful. You can see on a weekly basis uh, the improvement in their spiritual life, as well as their enthusiasm for life itself and their faith. I can't uh, express to you how um, rewarding this has become. It's not just a ministry, it's a calling. Hello, I am Father Granger from Haiti. Thank to you for many good things you give us. And with your help, we feed. 1,000 kids every day at school. We give them the best education. With your help, many kids can go to school and to prepare the future. We continue to build and renovate our facilities, including a chapel for our students to pray. Did you know that St. Michael's supports a school in Colombia? It's in a poor neighborhood where many of the children have no access to education. It's called Colombia Sin Fronteras. 
St. Michael's supports their mission to not only teach them the Word of God, but teach them how to read it. When you support this program, you provide these beautiful students with clean drinking water, school supplies, and opportunities to get involved in sports programs and things to help them break the cycle of poverty. Also, in Mexico, we've started a program to provide amputees with prosthetic limbs to give themselves a better life and to get more involved with their communities. Mercy Corps is a great opportunity for our students in the middle school uh, to become more aware of and attentive to uh, the opportunities and needs of the church, uh, both locally and globally. A few of the ongoing opportunities that Mercy Corps has is leading the student body in prayer every morning. And we do a lot of fundraising, and then we also do uh, some donations drives, both ongoing and, um, and seasonal. And we also are hoping to have uh, opportunities for direct service, such as to the food bank. So Mercy Corps was named after the Sisters of Mercy, which is the religious congregation that lovingly and tirelessly served the school here since the 70s. People who get involved have told us that it feels good. It feels good in their heart to give back to the community. Call or stop by the parish office and get in touch with the Corporal Works of Mercy program here at St. Michael's. You know, Jesus would like to say to us all, I have no hands but yours. I have no ear to listen to those in need but yours. I have no voice for those who are in need but yours. This is what's wonderful about St. Michael's Parish. If what you have seen is tugging at your hearts and inspiring you to participate in the corporal works of mercy, to reach out to our brothers and sisters in need, I invite you to get involved. Do whatever you can to participate and carry on the gospel of Christ. Pope Francis invites us to make sure that the gospel doesn't stay stagnant, but becomes alive. And it can only become alive through you. God bless you.